Tono city, Iwate Prefecture, is known as a rural site of folk tales. It is surrounded by mountains and has kept its traditional Japanese way of living even now. The reason we can know about Tono is from one book, The Legends of Tono. The book published in 1910 was based on the folk tales that Kizen Sasaki, who was born and raised in Tono, told to a scholar Kunio Yanagita. The stories that Sasaki told have been passed down from generation to generation and are still accepted by the people in Tono today as reality. This is Tono Hachimangu. In mid September, a traditional mounted archery contest and a performance of traditional folk dances take place here. There are many stone monuments that teach us where mountain gods, ghosts, and other mystical beings appear. Hitsumi dumpling soup is a tasty local food of chicken broth. In Denshoen Park, you can see an old farmhouse and its items from their daily life. The innermost chamber, Oshirado Hall, enshrines thousands of house gods called Oshirasama. One of the stories from the legends of Tono tells about the love between a young girl and a horse. This story did not have a happy ending, and so the Oshirasama dolls are usually made as a pair of a young girl and a horse. This is a mystical being, a kappa. It is green or red color skin, a dish on its head, and a shell on its back. This guy, cute guy, scary guy, is the mysterious kappa uh, of legend and lore, and uh, this is what people come to Tono for. Let's go to a kappa buchi pool to meet him next. Go through Jokenji Temple. Walk down a path along a small stream. Then you can see some cucumbers hanging down. And yes, there they are. Kappa love cucumbers and someone was trying to lure a kappa by dangling cucumbers in this stream. We went along the village by bicycle. When we came back to our inn, a gorgeous dinner was waiting for us. Grilled fish, stew, grilled meats, and more. Tono is a mysterious land of scary myths, regions, and folktales. <laughs> 